I can't be the only one who's not going to use AI generated content. Hello, I'm Michael with Writer Sanctuary and today I want to talk about using AI generated content while I'll never publish it as a whole. And since the beginning of 2023, it seems like everybody and their dog is adding AI to one thing or another. You got people that are publishing books that are completely written by AI. You got some people who are publishing in collaboration with AI. Then you got a lot of people think they're artists because they can work a prompt. If you have to do any of those, you're not a writer or an artist. You're a prompt jockey. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for that, but it's the truth. So one of the reasons why I'll never use AI as a whole is because it devalues the work of freelance writers. Now I've seen this starting to happen across a bunch of clients where they're starting to look towards AI and things like ChatGPT in order to write some of the lesser articles instead of paying a freelancer what they're worth. Now from a business standpoint, it makes sense because you're saving money. Every business wants to cut the bottom line. But what I can see happening down in the future is that some of us freelance writers will start dropping our prices just to keep up with AI. I mean, AI generated content is free and it's a hell of a lot faster to generate. And I'm not being hyperbolic, I've actually seen this happen in the real world about two or three times so far this year since the chat GPT exploded. Secondly, AI generated content will take away from my experience. I am a writer. I know this because it's the first thing I think about when I get up in the morning. I love to create, whether it's on WordPress or if I'm cranking out a new part of my story. It fills me with joy, wonderment, and is exceptionally therapeutic. Now granted, AI generated content would probably save me a ton of time throughout the week. And when you have as much on your plate as I do, cutting time might be ideal. But for me, I thoroughly enjoy writing. It's fun whether I'm creating a tutorial or cranking out a new story. I want to be able to look at myself in the mirror every morning and think to myself, yep, I'm a writer. Now the reason why I'll never use AI generated content is because I love to learn new things. In fact, this thirst for knowledge is what made me such a success on Textbroker. I was able to jump from one topic niche to another seamlessly without taking a break because I love to learn. And if I have some bot create the content for me, I'm not really learning it. I'm just copying and pasting. It's the research that I really enjoy. Another aspect of AI generated content is that I'd rather be proud of my accomplishments. If I let a bot create the content for me and it does really well on Google, I can't say that I did it. The bot did. I'd rather be able to pat myself on the back when I create something awesome. Every time I see one of my articles hit in the top 10 of Google, I get, I'm filled with joy. It doesn't matter what this search phrase is for. I've written some stuff that I didn't think was going to make it, and it did. And so those elements there that make me proud and I know that I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have that pride if I use something that a bot created entirely or even in part. I'm also not about instant gratification. And in today's world, instant gratification runs rampant. It's the same reason why I'll never use food delivery apps. Get off my lazy ass and go to the store. I'd rather do stuff for myself. And it doesn't matter if it takes months or years. I'm not into instant gratification. It'll happen when it happens. I don't need to have things right now. Which is a good mindset to have if you're a blogger and you get screwed by Google so often. Another reason why I won't use AI generated content is because it feels like it's cheating to me. I mean, having artificial intelligence help me write something is one thing, like with Grammarly, it'll fix your grammar problems and your spelling, but it's also basing everything it does off of what you created. If ChatGPT whips out a few paragraphs, then yeah, you didn't write it, ChatGPT did. But I bet a lot of you out there who copy and paste that stuff don't put JetGPT as the author. But regardless, AI generated content would just make me feel guilty. And lastly, I've come across a few issues with uh, AI generated content. It's not always accurate, meaning that you're going to be trusting a bot to create the content for you because you're not going to bother researching it because why should you? And I don't know about you, but I'd rather not have an automated system guarantee that everything is correct because there's a good chance that it won't be. So what about grammar and keyword tools? Well, like I said, with Grammarly, I use the Grammarly Chrome extension quite a bit, especially in WordPress. It goes through and gives me suggestions and I love being able to double click any word and get a synonym for it. But as I said before, Grammarly is going through the content that I created. It's fixing the words that I chose to put into the article. And Grammarly recently added the new thing where you can highlight an entire sentence or phrase and It'll use its AI to come up with a better terminology for it. I don't use it. In fact, if I could, I'd disable that feature. It just gets in my way. 
And with keyword tools, essentially that's just using data. The platforms like uh, Google AdWords, Uber Suggest, and all those other ones are basing things off of what people have searched for. Sure, you can get that long tail key phrase, you're still gonna to have to be the one to put it in a blog post and score it for search intent. Then there's tools like VidIQ's AI Coach, which is kind of a nifty little tool um, if you use VidIQ, but it'll base all of the information it gives you off of how your videos um, have been performing. So like if I was to put in, what video should I make next about writing products? You just hit the send button, it looks through your channel data, and then it gives you an answer. Hey there, Writer Sanctuary. I've analyzed your channel's recent performance and have some uh, suggestions for your next video about writing products. Here are five video ideas that could fit well with your channel's niche. Top five writing tools for authors in 2023. That's actually a fairly decent one. I probably wouldn't use the description or anything like that, but that's kind of neat. <laughs> Mastering Readsy, tips and tricks on for self-publishing success, which is awesome because it's basing off of the success of the Readsy video that I have up. As you can see, the AI tool for VetIQ is basing information off of your channel. It's off of your data. It's not trying to rip off anybody else. Granted, its title and description is based off of a general consensus of YouTube, but still, those are some decent ideas that are based on the performance of the videos on my channel. So tools like that, I can see being useful because it's, it's basing information off of your successes. But when it comes to writing complete pieces of work with AI-generated content or even books, Partially written books, partially written blog posts never happen. In fact, as the manager, if I catch one of my authors handing in AI generated content, I'll fire him. I am paying for your skill, your personality. If I wanted to get something that was written by a bot, I'd do it myself. I know it may sound a little bit strict, it will take a little bit more time to get my article, but at least I have it written by the person I'm paying. That's what a lot of people don't understand, I guess, is that when I'm a lot, of, uh, a lot of hiring managers who pay authors and writers to create content, they want your personality. They like how you put things together. They don't want something written by a bot. So yeah, I will never, ever use AI generated content as a whole on anything I create. In fact, I'm not even using it for ebook covers. I'd rather do the cover myself or pay somebody else to do it. Just next time around, I'm having my daughter create one. But it's all based on everybody's individual artistic ability. So what's been your experience with AI generated content? Personally, I just don't see the, the allure of it. Like I gave you seven reasons why I will never use it. That doesn't mean that you suck if you have to. I mean, it's a time saver. But like I said, I am a writer. I would rather do it myself. I get a lot more enjoyment out of it. And I can, when something scores well, I can say, hey, I wrote that. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. For more videos about freelance writing, blogging, or self-publishing, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'm going to get back to writing my own blog post and probably enjoy some of the rainy weather that's out there. I'll see you next time.